through it all, what would you do for a friend? At Lincoln West High School in Cleveland, senior wrestlers D'Artagnan Crockett and Leroy Sutton are a team of their own. Inseparable, joined together at more than the hip. Notice your match, right? Saw me. Saw me. D'Artagnan has lifted Leroy onto his back and carried him to and from every match, on and off every bus, into and out of every gym this past season. At more than 170 pounds, Leroy is not a light load. As often as people turn when D'Artagnan walks by with another wrestler on his back, they stop cold when Leroy hits the mat. It's like some type of power. It's like it just rushes through me. And I get the feeling like my hands sometimes shake. So I like set them on the mat for a second, level them back out, and then I get in my stands. Don't touch me. Don't get near me. Because I will show you my strength. With virtually no lower body, he compensates by using his lower center of gravity and brute upper body strength. His technique is, I just want to grab you, hold on to you, put you on your back and squeeze as hard as I can. You know, that's the kind of wrestler that he is. While wrestling is a test for Leroy, much of life has been a trial. The one that shaped his body, if not his life, came on a set of train tracks in Akron, Ohio in 2001, when he was 11 years old. It just comes by, comes by. And it was rocks and gravel. And I kind of just slipped and just kind of just went under. I was just staring at the sun the whole time. I was not trying to look down because that's when I would have panicked. His backpack caught by one of the passing cars, Leroy was pulled beneath the train. I just asked why. That's all I did. The whole time I was in the hospital, I just asked why. Why? Every night, I could not go to sleep. When I tried to go to sleep, I'd end up hearing the sound of a train, and it just woke me back up. His left leg was amputated below the knee. His right leg, below the hip. Leroy spent grueling hours in rehabilitation. Those hours changed his body above the waist as well. When I finally built my arm muscles up, I did not want my chair. I did not want to be in my chair. That's why I move around on my arms a lot. <sighs> that ability to move, to lift and flip and twist his body, led him to wrestling. After transferring to Lincoln West just last year, Leroy's first practice partner was the only wrestler powerful enough to handle him, D'Artagnan. He was a complete powerhouse. Like the first time I wrestled him, his strength is almost unbelievable. I never wrestled anyone as strong as him, being as strong as I am. Wrestling is a sport of shared suffering. Its techniques developed in pain its mastery through exhaustion. Practice requires more than a teammate. It demands a partner, day after day, month after month. As practice partners, D'Artagnan and Leroy grappled with each other all season long, each the other's competitive constant. And the competition connected them in a way that went beyond the mat. They were together everywhere, down school hallways, 
Hello, Mr. Hans. Hello, Hansi. <laughs> In the weight room. <laughs> On team bus rides. Guess what? What? It's peanut butter jelly time! Peanut butter jelly time! Together, because they share more than a sport. For the teammate who carried Leroy on his back all season, knows something about challenges. From where I'm sitting, I can just barely make out your facial features. How far away am I from you? Four or five feet, something like that. D'Artagnan is legally blind. Born with Lieber's disease, a condition that causes acute visual loss, D'Artagnan has been severely nearsighted his entire life. Hi, can you let me know when I get to West 25th on Meyer? If I try to look at the street signs, I can't really read the words on it. When I get closer to the school, I see certain buildings that I recognize. They let me know when I'm getting closer. I really don't know exactly what building. I just know the shape and the color. He places text just inches from his face in order to read. In class, interpreting a blackboard or following a computer screen is a test in itself. Sometimes I get some of the letters mixed up because I can't quite see it. I usually make out uh, some words by the shape of the word. Nothing about him ever gives you the hint that he has a disability. He doesn't allow anyone to know that about himself, the way he carries himself. and. You know, he doesn't ask for any type of help or pity because of that. I'm just seeing it as a challenge that, like, God has, been, like, given me. And, like, he's seeing how I'm going to react to this challenge, whether I'm going to let it make me the person I am today or just let it break me. The wrestler with no legs being carried by the one who can't see. As improbable a pair as they are, D'Artagnan and Leroy share more than the ride together. Outside school, life's been easy for neither. For most of his time at Lincoln, D'Artagnan has not had any steady place to call home. There have been times that I'd have to, like, just scavenge house for food because we have so little. I've moved about five or six times within the past three years, in some cases because, like, we didn't have the money. As for Leroy, he lives in a house without any ramps. A hard place to navigate for someone in a wheelchair. Although, it doesn't stop him. It's easier, though, when a friend is there to help out. Or just hang out. And that's what Leroy and D'Artagnan have done all year. We don't really let anything get to us. We just do whatever we can to like make life a little bit easier. Are we over there? Get over there! Leroy! Run! You guys gotta run over here. <laughs> take it one... Take it one step at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Do something like that was coming. <laughs> the one place they don't laugh is in competition. Entering gyms all season, their intensity was mutual and menacing. Every time D'Artagnan wrestled, Leroy sat on the edge of the mat. It's almost like having a, my brother there. Like basically having someone I know I can trust, know who's going to be there. Drive! Drive! Under control! This season, D'Artagnan won, again and again. Competing at 189 pounds, the wrestler who only sees shadows on the mat finished 26 and three, ending the season as a league champion. As for Leroy, the matches were tougher and the wins harder. He would have it no other way. Haiti. <laughs> Don't do it. It's more likely that I will punch you in the face than like sit here and cry. <laughs> A lot of people go, oh, I'm like, don't do that. I don't like pity at all. Wrestling in multiple weight classes this season, Leroy won nine matches. 
the majority by pinning his opponents. Love you, baby. Love you too, bro. As hard as each worked on the mat this season, they both wanted to cross a stage as the year closed. Both determined to earn a diploma from a school with a graduation rate of roughly 40%. My goal was to like walk across the stage, and it still is, to actually walk across the stage. And I'm like still, I still want to do that. I present to you Lincoln West High School class of 2009 graduates. On the final night of the school year at Lincoln West, graduation night, D'Artagnan and Leroy each had one more walk to make. For Leroy, a walk upon prosthetic legs he was fitted for just this spring. What would you do for a friend? A friend you carried all year long. Leroy Sutton. You'd put him down and walk beside him. From the first time I've met him, I've been carrying him from point A to B to C. Graduation tonight was the first time I finally got to walk beside him. It was a privilege, it was an honor to be the one to walk with him, to help him, to help him walk and get his diploma. And I kept my promise to myself, mother. To walk across, I'm proud of you. There's nothing that this man sitting right next to me cannot do. And he's proven that time and time again. Good job, man. Good job, man. It meant so much to me. And no, <clears throat> I have a friend that was there to catch me when I was stumbling. <laughs> this is only a new chapter. And we just turned the page. <laughs>